All right, so we want to discuss the correctness of the algorithm. So I point out that we should observe that Dijkstra's algorithm starts with vertex one, your root, and then identifies the others in an order. Not the order one to n, but it says, I'm going to make x1 permanent first, then x2, then x3, then x4, and then the last one, the last vertex made permanent. And when you do that, the distances are monotonically increasing. When you declare a vertex permanent, its distance has always been coming down, and at any given moment, you take the least one. So you'll never take a 23 when a moment before you took a 35. The 23 would have been preferred, and you wouldn't have taken the 35. OK, now we want to show that Dijkstra's algorithm always provides an optimum path for, from the root to any other one. Now, by optimum, I only mean that the sum of the weights of the edges is as small as possible. There may be many, many optimum paths. But a unique feature of Dijkstra is that out of all the optimum paths, the algorithm will find one using the fewest number of edges. So you see, you might go from here to there at a cost of 50. But you go here at 10, here at 10, there at 10, there at 10, and there at 10. So five tens. There might be another path which goes 25, 25, and gets there with a cost of 50, but using only two edges, whereas this one used five. Dijkstra will never find this one. It will find this one. It will find an optimum path using the fewest number of edges. The lengths are the same. But extra, we'll never find the long one. We'll find the short one. The short one in the form of the number of edges. All right, so that's what we're going to prove. 